Before I get started, please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any new material that I'm going to be producing in the future. And that helps us grow the channel, grow more content, and help people like you. This is how Go is doing dependency management now. So the Go tool has something called Go mod, which is for the modules. This is to define dependencies and uh, also make your code a, uh, a package people can install. So um, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to create a new file, and this is the Go mod file. Uh, so I'm doing, going to do Go mod init, meaning I'm creating a new project and I'm going to give it a name. Usually the name will be where uh, people install from. So let's say uh, the fictional github.com slash 53 solutions slash MP. I don't remember if I have this project or not. Um, this is just for here. And when you're working locally, uh, you don't care if it goes online or doesn't go online. Uh, if you, um, once you publish your code, it usually should be somewhere um, like this. So the Go tool, when you install packages, uses an underlying uh, versioning control system, Git probably, uh, to fetch the code. So uh, this is the path in Git to how to fetch the code. You can have your own vanity URLs. You can have internal packages. There are many, many other ways to do that, but uh, probably the easiest one is just uh, to do that. It doesn't have to be public. So if you have your internal uh, company uh, GitLab installment, it could be GitLab your company.com, whatever, uh, path to the file, and that's it. Um, once we do that, we get a new file. This is a file called uh, go.mod, uh, and in go.mod currently just says the name of the module, and it says the Go version that you're currently using. Uh, this is the recommendation for the minimal Go version. Uh, 